Good morning, people of God. continue talking about faith. We left off uh, number five, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. Mm -hmm. For by his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. Wouldn't you like to please God today? Mm. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. Holy are you. Holy are you. Govern us. Release your angels to help us. Mm. Yeah. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you have to believe that God is God, and you have to believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I remember when I started diligently seeking him, that's when it opened up for me, the realms of the Spirit. And the realms of love that he has for you. Hallelujah. I'll continue here. I'm going to read about some other verses that talk about his faith. Yeah. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Yeah, this is Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Hallelujah. And the verses that I read to you before were in Hebrews 11, verses 5, 6. Okay. Oh, we missed one. Here's a good one. Hebrews 11, verse 7. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to show the saving of his house. Yeah. Mm. Prepare an ark, yeah, to save his house, yeah, by which he condemned the world and became an heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. Ephesians three sixteen through 17, yeah that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. So there is an inner man, yeah, an inner person, an inner woman yeah, <laughs> inside of you, operating, whether you're a male or female, and it's being governed by the Holy Spirit, and you, you must believe that he's going to strengthen you with his might, yeah, with the help of the Holy Spirit, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Yeah, you're going to activate your faith to believe this, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. Yeah, love is like a cornerstone that helps you to go on in this life, being decent to one another, yeah, polite, respectful. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, yeah, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11, 1, we did cover that. For we walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, God, now the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace in believing, yeah, you must believe, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, so now God, the God of hope, 
He's going to fill you with all joy and peace in believing. You must believe that He will do this for you. Yeah? That you may abound in hope. Yeah? Continue in hope. Carrying hope in you through the power of the Holy Ghost. You're going to get help from the Holy Spirit. Hmm. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, yeah? For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed, yeah? James 1, 6. So you don't want to be like that with your faith. You want to be strong in your faith. Hallelujah. Thank you for sitting with me. Early morning service. God bless you.